I'm Jasmine and welcome to C-Sharp Feature of the Week. I'm here with Brandon and he's going to walk us through value task. Can we talk, take a look at your code? Yeah, let's check it out. So we have a, a cool little sample app here that we'll call this fun randomfox.ca API, which does exactly what it sounds like. It'll return an image to an adorable fox. So if you ever need to brighten your day, randomfox.ca, check it out. Now, the code here that we're going to focus on is this async task method called getFox. And this method will first check to see, have we already downloaded an image of a fox? And if we haven't, so if, if most recent fox is null, then we will call that API. And that's where we have to use, we use async await. So we await the, the call for that API, initialize most recent fox, and then we return it back to the caller. Now that's great, but the second time we call this method, we have that value of most recent fox already. So we'll check to see if most recent fox is null. It's not, so we skip calling the API and we just return the fox right away. And same with the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time we call this method, we're just gonna return right away. And we're not really needing that overhead of async await. And what this means, we can take advantage of value task by just changing task to a value task, we can get a lot of performance benefits because value task is similar to task. It's not exactly the same. There's some details in the blog post link below that I recommend checking out. But the best way to take advantage of it is if you have a method where the hot path in your code, where the code that runs 90% of the time when this method is called, if that code does not use the await keyword, then use a value task instead. And the value task is a value type, which gets initialized on the stack instead of a task, which is a reference type, which gets initialized on the heap. So we take advantage of some performance improvements that we get for free just by changing task to a value task. Amazing. I mean, I feel like any programmer out there wants to, you know, improve the performance of their code. In fact, we can in fact, um, the .NET runtime actually uses value tasks for inform performance improvements. Is that right? Yeah. If you dig into, say, the .NET 5 source code, you'll see value tasks popping up everywhere. So what's really cool is it was kind of created to improve the performance of the runtime, but we get to take advantage of it in our code to improve the performance of our apps too. Amazing. And if you'd like to learn more about value tasks, check out the link in the description below.